Ooh, fish on. Nice one. Nice fish. Nice fish. This feels good. <laughs> Double up. <laughs> hey there, folks. Welcome back to Camo Chop Fishing. So about this same time last year, I went for the first time to a mill pond on the eastern shore that I'd never been to before. I did a little bit of satellite recon checking it out, but what I'll show you in this video is how I picked it apart, what led to my success, and a few mistakes I made along the way. So keep this intro short and sweet and get right to the water. If you enjoy it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to the fishing. All right, folks, we are on the water. This water is very clear. Minimum of four feet of visibility. I think it's probably closer to five. Now, I know exactly nothing about this place beyond some satellite recon that I did online, looking at Google Earth, just figuring out where these pad fields are. And it turns out I really didn't need to. So I was afraid that the pad fields would be hard to locate because of the time of year. But the pads in here apparently get so thick that they last well into winter as well. You can see the root systems over here and underneath the surface, you can probably see, oh wow, Christmas trees. I'm putting structure in here, that's awesome. I wish I'd known these were here before I got here though. I would have cast it to them. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and work it out here. Work my way up lake and then probably work my way down. But again, like I, I know nothing about this place. Another Christmas tree. Wow, a lot of Christmas trees here. I'll probably get snagged on one of them. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if I end up finding these fish shallow or deep. Really have no idea how that's gonna work out yet. So I'm gonna fan cast, fish various kinds of structure until these fish give me a hint. The action on the Z-Man bullseye is really, really good. Now over here, we have a nice looking cove. Ooh, that was a pickerel. That was a pickerel. You little rascal. So that wasn't a big fish. It was probably about 16 inches or so. But our first hit of the day. And that's nice to see. Oh, she's right in front of me. Right in front of me. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, she refuses to hit it. But so like I said earlier, here, I continue to proceed up lake here, checking the shallow water first, fishing all the pad fields, because recently that's where I've been having all my luck, only a week prior. But what happened was, is that in between that last trip and this one, the temperature had dropped. The water temperature in particular had dropped probably about 5 to 8 degrees. I think that in conjunction with this just perhaps being a lake with different structure, or a mill pond with different structure, than what I had been fishing before contributed to a different pattern. I'll show you exactly what that was. Just missed one. Just missed one. So I just spooked one too. There's a heck of a point coming up, folks. Ooh, that was a hit. And that was a hit all day though, all day. Not a bad cast for him, not bad. There, now I'm gonna cast back in with my spinner bait, but this way I got a shot at getting him on something else if he doesn't wanna hit the spinner bait again. Oh, there he goes, float down, what did I say? What did I say? There he is, fish on. Nice. Nice pick. Nice pick. Oh. <laughs> right at the boat. Son of a gun. I told you about this point, right? So let's break it down. Points are great ambush areas that predatory fish love to hang around. And it has underwater timber and it has some grassy type structure off the point and it has this big overhanging tree out here 
if you don't know, overhanging trees are often a great place to find fish. Probably because it gives them that top cover and makes them feel safe. Ah, I can't believe he got off. It was, a, it was a decent fish, probably around 19 or so. <sighs> I was lucky. <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> Float down. There she is. What do we got? What do we have? I think it's a bass. <laughs> it's an itty bitty bass. Come here, you little dink. That's the first fish I've landed today. Definitely not what I'm here for, but hey, not a complete skunk, <laughs> you little rascal. <laughs> well, it ain't much, but the skunk is out the boat. A little fatty, you see him? <laughs> you little rascal. Ooh, fish on, nice one. Nice fish, nice fish, this feels good. What is that? Pickerel, pickerel on. Where's my net? Where's my net? Come here. Okay, not a monster, but a good fish. There you are. All right, what I tell you about those overhanging trees, folks? You fish around long enough, you're gonna find fish. Come here. Yeah, I'm here. Yes, yes, I know. There she is. Oh, hey. All right, so these fish, these pickerel and stuff, they definitely seem to be a lot more of them down here in the lower part of this pond where the water is deeper and just about a degree or two warmer. <laughs> this one's eating well. Look at that tummy. <laughs> and that's on that Z-Man bullseye spinner bait, four inch diesel minnow pearl color. All right, let's get you on the board. Yeah, she'll come in with just under 19. Not a bad fish. Uh-oh, float down, float down. Fish on, what we got? I think it's another bass. Yep, that's a bass. <laughs> Doubled up. <laughs> now look at that, look at that circle hook work. God, I love circle hooks. You are being remarkably well behaved, and I appreciate that. I, I, I know, I know, I know. I said it out loud, huh? And that's my fault, I know. Chill. There you go. And got her. All right. Let's get you off of here. Thanks, buddy. You have a good day now. And there she goes. Heck yeah. All right. Float down. Fish on. Feels decent. Definitely feels decent. I think it's a bass, though. What is that? God, what a chunk of a bass. Look at that fighter. I mean, that's a fighting fish, man. A little stocky thing. Look at that. <laughs> a little chunk. Come on. Get out of there, circle hook. We got him. Get on out of there. Close your mouth, please. Close your mouth, please, sir. Close. 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 Nope. Oh, no. She's 14. She's a hair of, a hair of a 14 inches. Okay. Look at that. 14 inches and a pound and a half. She a thick little pup. Shoop. Thanks, bud. I'm telling you, those little micro adjustments you can make with this 360 drive. Crazy valuable. Well, folks, I just caught a really nice one. By far my fish of the day. And I'm pretty sure that as soon as I saw the float drop, I turned off the camera. Well, come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> Son of a gun. Uh, you'll see her on the, uh, <laughs> on the rear facing camera meaning my phone. So I did get some selfie shots of her. But God bless, man. That was a really nice fish. Ah, 
fudge muffin. Uh-oh, float down, float down. Boy, what did I tell you about these overhanging trees, folks? What have I told you? Oh, he came off. 60% of the time, it works every time. I just missed a giant, folks. And when I say a giant, I do mean a giant. It's two fish I've missed off this tree. And I'm telling you, that one felt really big. Really. Float down. He's on, but he's stuck in the stuff. Let's see if we can go get him. This is light line here. This line's gonna rub right through. Oh, he's all up in it too. Fudge muffin. Oh, it's a big fish too. I can't see him at all. I see my float. I still can't see the fish though. Fudge muffin. Come on float, get off of there. Let me see if I can knock it free. A little longer than a few minutes later. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think we got him free. I think we got it free. Come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Please don't get tangled up again. I just got you out. There he is. Boy, I fought for that fish. There she is. Holy crap. <laughs> I gotta check my rig and see if I need to retie now. Because she had me all in that junk. Look at that. Jim and E. Christmas. Whew, what a struggle that was. Now, once you feel your line is caught up in a tree like that underwater, you gotta be real ginger with how. <laughs> you gotta be real careful, put it that way. <laughs> you gotta be really careful with how you go ahead and get that line out of that tree. So I'm lucky she didn't rub right through that line over that branch. Nice fish though. Thank you. <laughs> there he is, fish on. Feels good folks, feels good. Feels good and feels like I got a good hook set into him. I'm almost certain that's gonna be a pick. Yep, that's a pick. That's a pick all day. Heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> That's, there you are, there you are, come here, come here, there we go, alright, let's get her, let's get her, oh buddy, come here, there you are, not bad, yeah, that's a solid fish, not a monster, but a solid fish, don't do it, you don't cut me all up, Ooh, I lucked out there. I let my hand get way too far up near those gill rakers. Nice fish though. Nice fish. She is now off hook and she'll come in. I mean, just touching. Is she going to touch 20? Yeah, she'll touch 20. Cool. Got her. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. 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 <laughs> you rascal. And there she is. One more for the books, right around 20 inches or so. Beautiful fish. Fought well. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Go on. Go on. There you go. All right, folks. Temperature's dropping quick. The sun's behind the horizon, and it's cloudy. So it's getting cold, and it's getting cold fast. Thank you, GoPro. <laughs> Power save mode. But anyway. Fun day out here, especially on brand new water. I had no idea how to fish this. Well, I'll say I have no idea, but I've never been to this particular mill pond before. So to come out here and catch the fish that I did, I'm pretty happy, man. I think I put three pickerel on the bump board, lost or missed many more, landed probably three bass, but one of those was an ultra dink. The other one was a moderate dink, you know, around like 10, 12 inches. Other one was decent, you know, 14 inches. 
lost or missed a fair number of fish. That bothers me a little bit, but it's part of the game. Got to figure out what I was doing wrong and don't do it again. But hey, thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.